Former UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya sent a stern message to the UFC. After the UFC's attempts to neglect Francis Ngannou's existence, Adesanya spoke up, and this is what he had to say. You can never erase Francis' history from the UFC. I'll say that. It's just, it's part of history. We, we need to fix this. I don't like that. I don't like the fact we're trying to just cut out a really important part of history. It's, it's silly. It's really silly. But we'll fix that. That's for later on. We'll fix that. This stems from the UFC claiming Tafan Inchukwi as the only Cameroonian fighter in UFC history, and even editing Adesanya's comments to omit his mention of the former UFC heavyweight champion. There. But then him discrediting me, Kamaru Usman, he came in the UFC, I knew who he was a little bit, but I didn't go, oh, who the f is this fake dude coming in? I just said, so cool, there's another African in the UFC. That ticked me off a little bit, so that's what started this, but again, I'll finish it. And also, again, he tried to discredit the Three Kings and say that he's the real true African champion. And I was just like, it's a weird mindset, bro. Like, he came in the UFC, I knew who he was a little bit, but I didn't go, oh, who the fuck's this fake dude coming in? I just said, so cool, there's another African in the UFC. But then him discrediting me, Francis Ngannou, Kamaru Usman, that ticked me off a little bit. So that's what started this, but again, I'll finish it. The tension between Francis Ngannou and the UFC primarily stems from his dissatisfaction with the promotion's contract structure and treatment of fighters. Ngannou has been vocal about the lack of fair compensation for fighters and the restrictive nature of UFC contracts, which he feels limit athletes' career potential and earning capabilities. This frustration led him to seek opportunities outside the UFC, ultimately landing a blockbuster boxing match with Tyson Fury, followed by Anthony Joshua. He also signed a contract with the PFL, which surely angered Dana White and the UFC even more. Nganu is now scheduled to make his PFL debut versus 2023 PFL heavyweight champion Renan Ferreira. As for the UFC, they're currently facing a class action lawsuit that just saw a significant development. A U.S. judge recently rejected a proposed $335 million settlement between the UFC and former fighters. This decision underscores the ongoing legal battle over fighter pay and treatment within the organization. With the settlement denied, a new court date has been set for October 28, 2024, prolonging the dispute and leaving the fighter's quest for fair compensation unresolved. The case continues to draw attention to the broader issues of antitrust and labor rights in mixed martial arts, the same ones that Francis Ngannou stood up against himself.